jigen ñi dal amu ñu worom gërem na leen santa na leen te di leen ñaanal dal ñu yoka seen taxaway ñu goor goor lu am jom kenn du ñoom jigen ñi jaambar leen jigen ñi fajar leñu jog buñu joge fajar duñ ti daati ñu ngi daw di xalaat njaboti na te amna ci ño xamne ñu ngi fay school fees ño amé dépasser kër yi meti na waye dal goor goor lu leen rek jom rek xale be gëna tuti légui sax muy jigen mu ngi daw mu ngi xol mo défé be am jom roy wajurami na te ñun tay lu mbon bam santa yalla su ñun tay dañ fi nekka pour xale yi roy ci ñun mota tank bu ño sexi rek nay nekka tank bu ba be nga xamne bu élégué duñ ko réccu to Bachele Tambado, um, the proprietress of um, Sempera Travel Agency and Sempera Enterprise. Sempera is Bachele. I am a kid who is a kid. 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 Bopa bi koita manga suba name it family ba fa mashaallah wa bi suñu mam joge fofu ñew nak nek ci fi mo ousmane senega jane ak mam ko mbotun kara bi yalla dokale bene dama bu ga set up travel agency bi ni ma jël tour bi def ko sempera travel agency be taxna man li pa luma def rek dal on da sempera la sen pere da suñu santa la ndax ñun suñu mami fuñu xeyan suba dikka buñu xeyan suba bu ngone takku san buñu fa bu len fa takku san fekke dañu fal sen bopa nek buur sen pere travel mom la ñu castard hal na yaaga ci tuti yaagut way santa yaala mu nek lo xamne luma yaagon di liggey la be ni alhamdullilah suma adina yip mom la xam mom leet alaji musa ndiaye suma hariti papa dugal ma bañu travel agency fala commencer tay lima mun ak lima xam yip mom tamit moko ndiki mako se santa diko ci girim mo suma magi papa pa amara bacili ak suma goro Alaj Marie Tambedu de len ñaanal yalla yirim len te xare len aajana travel agency lima ci dugal lon moy bima dem school dama comme yalla dafa dogal dama teela duga plein so suma gisan e hostessi sen ciancité ak ni ñoo defé di la savé yoy mu tax mu duga ma ma buga li ñoo def way bima demé be ci long run bi ma némé ku né comme man suma pa du nanguma def son bobu nete comme ñom sen aada ci sarahuli te dafa fonkon kilifam torop muy magam di alaji bahasse koyta yel na len yalla yirim koku ci lum dogal mom la suma padan duga lum bugu du ko def te bala ma se suri ma santa ste girim te ñaana ki nga xamne mom mo ma se halal yon mu xere ñon lool ci lim doon liggeyam man jangal mako be luma ci mun rek kanaw yalla mom la muy suma bena leet sista ñu ko oyé ana keta daabo yeen ko yalla yirim te xere ko aajana na te liggey bi lim ma ci wara won yip won na mako te alhamdullilah be tay lu tuti li ma ci mun rek yalla mom la ak suma benen mento anti tuti soya simon ñu jappalé mo won torop be yaala di mbalé man mo munu na doxal sama bopa di ci jëm ben ni na té maay faatale ko bima ñibi sé be jé xass ko be paré man ko papa liggéey ngu ma sama ko dama bëgg dem jangi jé ndax nga féel ma mu néma ban jigéen ni sarahulé doomi sarahulé nga gis mu dan muy dem jangi jé sétal doomi baba koy tay kan mo dem 
The phone is better than the Bumayo Obi Travel Agency. So I just have a newspaper unit, um, Observer. We advertise um, about this UN post scene with the qualification scene. How do you do it? When I was in the meeting, I was in the instant disqualified. I was like, I'm going to call you. They send me to see a post you buy your hand and so I buy one my jangiji. Then I don't want to am the gay go back in a more and little more me pamrela one. I'm sorry, so call a fair. Um, Munema, do low. So my baby, after the day, I have not even lila my yala. Been directly to my neck, it is my destiny. Why? Rachel Makonak. Rachel Makolima. Legacy travel agency, but definitely. Did you come to my lawyer? Did you make any changes? You must do well. Better be my dear baby. I'm legacy travel agency. Like my contact. Many even do. Neck my air hostess. Why? Better it. Tera would dream begin with cigar with that. Lulu, mama chigina, dugal te enjoy na ako. Chorab just na asis mo bopa santa yala bembari. Film na kani na travel agency bi denga just na lima chay dev baretut. Namo ko wichi sumo ayraka malin di supervise. Madem diversify to this. Di dev agro products about local food products. Singa hamne. On the agriculture, you know, I'm swing the cabbage field. The chili game, who Japanese jigging. That's a fine tool. We just amatut. So here, like a balanga exe, good ina. Why are the dogs not new? The new one they found here, they could jay. When they just saw new in the little abugaleka, that they are not doing much. I'm saying galeka, but they're not dull. Why is Kore fair? So how many is it in wine? So you will refer to the link just in the microwave. Not even if you are on the leg, you will refer to the link. If you are on the, there are many to watch. When the mobile is fit to go, to go some part. So be mad at me, be halat. Man, why not something else? Man, if all my dem sadi dem de fi benen ligi te kombi ala dogal na muna to go. Maset, my create some own things. Be pare di buy hell. Sumo tuki, especially sumo dem in Senegal, ma am you maji sumo nyuwe. Danga jis ne, dama kude try po do additional touches to it, different from nyon. Bima duga si this food processing fe kana hale kar kar, mashaAllah, hamga. Nge dema sen bopa, so fufu mom dema lema. Although na tera uma, ma nge run sumo kir. Ni mo kawara de fere dina toga dina yeka dina check kiri ni mo ra de me topoto sumo jikar ona zana santa yala tera o madal de fili mo wara de f lena la de komli mo la wa ni sang has spena tu mo much time si agency be sumo ebo mane la fini let's say eighty percent be chi food processing bilah ko de spend. Dama buy some rakai new code f. Why at the same time dama learn day buy help learn supervise. Dite hanga if you traveling it's not easy. You are but the Muslim in the COVID bilan is a why Muslim is not in day deal with government. Ag individual ini so dana ampu be very careful sa customers the attendance because at the customer service is very important. So fuck like the Malinde groom, the land by her. Which woman? So so just say, take my dev office. We need big, we need big, and a yep yep. Pull my money, ham silly new order. Understand? We are pulling money code professionally. So it is because of limo buga if you talk. I didn't believe I'm a trap silly. I'm ham ne pull dev ko beti utaman. Yo man as man trap. Nite man she ligi lubare lubare car car lujem simbiri wine. Didn't believe jige ni tamit. Mangi de for findi. Baoba powder, lemon ginger powder, wonjo powder, beans powder, chakri, cherry, ginger, sanghal. My refer seasoning to it. Hot season sauce in it. Juices for occasions, not only for individuals. Be pare my refer like sabu, bam muscle bam yini, baoba oil, pomblem, stretch marks. 
Shea butter oil, curry te duwing galam, puri yaram. You yep man che de far um, yenin dal. Man suma package ni rumo kode amefi. The makode order. Te daf made cross the lot. The fane ka lo hamne re komli malawa. The fam lo hamne sosi duwe be pare jom rek mo le che yu bo aksa buga buga. Why do we need this? This is a boy. Pan and coach a buggy. Why this is Santa Tiel? Remember him. Why package in me? You say I'm problem. You look at me. So in common, I'm so in real fee. Money, money, money. I'm going to balance my wallet. I'm going to balance my face. I'm going to take a jam. I'm going to take a sucker. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to take a look. Why so in real? So fake. I'm going to come. I'm going to have my mom let me live. I'm going to just need containers. I'm going to move in. If you am the one them act your linga ligi, so challenge is meeting a trap trap. Meeting a lulu to meet new chenya and guri new che muni dimale. New munche am the new ligi dar rather than the them fenendi ko utije. Man fima muna wahne am na for grant mo she treats. The lengi reje fal nyom tamit. Nate dende ta hau jigeni act na we trap act guri. Nyom sen grand we, dengan lakukan jenda lal ay machinery bagasi na sohla. Dengan lendi wala na lan gali ge ak pakai jisi ni. Fima awa heyo nisa order ni ma lim machine buma awa ramu na lige ak boxes si ma awa ramu na lim suma ginger lemon bini powder bidam. Dikter ma kau yo transform def ko tea bag with the one job powder tamit. So fufu am ni fa dimbal true nyom tamit. Nyom lendi santa di lendi krim tamit fufu dah. Well, come lima lagi ini, mai ame ay halai jigen sumakir. Mai nyom nyom kau deh fando ruci u malenko. Da malende o mana len kai len gen hall. Dateli nyanu len yala talk fe. Dateli da mau buka solen komune. Amna se halai u majanga sa nyom cide hagi right now. Tapi malen se si malen ni kau. Bi malen bi mau kau deh da malende o be after nyom. Then kau deh def on their own. The Madrid, the Madrid took it over by COVID. Be some more time, Mahala, why you took it? The Kenya Madrid. Understand? Why did I do that? Because I didn't want to see the two till we are not very good. Come, did you open up more? Hala lane, you on one lane, juggle lane, def lane, the leading a lane, jiring elek. The German no meet it. The film like I saw, money, like, like, as a boy, meet it, meet it more up a hip. So come on, elek. So na tulo do ni ifi kete so amu teke do am dara did it. Meche bilimo do danga se ke jai gete chafte. Limo jai limo am diko da jale. Muse si tulo bopa manja bottom. So dana jis ne damalen lichi upal damalen de helal. One lane you on. Telo lu yepta mit. Mangi gina jil jil jila am gina am hel bobo car. Da semua lain tu duit tetap mit. Defu mai efek hel. Mui Senegal, Gambia, networking under the leadership of Ajar Musukorombai. Mungkin hamil mohon ke Senegal. Mohon ke partners in partnership with Ajar tu Maria Ma Adu led. Mungkin hamil mohon mui suin presiden Ribanjo Fini. So when you join the association, when you join the Bokachi, through Smaraka, Fatma Tajawara, my farmer's market, I invite my dear, because I have a excellent condom launch at the Chamber of Commerce. Chief for Funun, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Food processing. I'm going to say, I'm going to do it. 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 Befi mawe heyo ni samno sumo bena rakabu hamne bena nyasa right now manko wa purut lumo wara def rada dan jai peace rek a Gambia women's stream of commerce under the leadership of na February Mrs Beatrice Prom aja fatu stem or fatim materialin ag fatim ke Mrs Bergan. So through association, you know, tahna be manta mid masi jangat the hall. Nino dimbale hale indawi agjigini. So the ngajis the lima defne the made oh hale dilen one yom tamenyu muna dem on their own. Bun just we ru talk sikir man fi mneka ni smaji se kui talk esa the malande ne la linga def bahut dimbale wola. So bugi indenyu 
ma won la so munu tenyo so ma call any time men be amna nyo hamne de nyo defle de ma de o anti abi na ka nga de defare li 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 dama len de advice travel agency bi mom dafa do hatu travel industry bi mom way ñu ko santé yalla ñu ko ko santé be mbari ndaté yalla lum dogal rek moy ligéne way di ñaan rek mu téggé ñu fi fébar bi en nako fi yalla téggé ñi ci jitu yalla yirim len té xaré len a jana di ñaanal ñi nga xamné dal na len yalla may len wir dé lo waat len ci sen sago té yalla mu sal ñu ci ñu tok be bokk ci ñi ko nétali way fébar bi mom ah alhamdullah rabbil alamin len ci muna wax yalla dal ko santé ndaté travel industry bi mom meti na trop ndaté nit ki ci len na xam fa so many years munu lo hey bena bi sa go ci ko nono so do darasa ñom ñi ci nekk di liggey ni so xam nga lolo do muna hey bena bi sa baye ko nono te ñom ganaaw yalla sen su tura fa lay nekk so dañ nekk ni tok di koti koti be pare ci enterprise bi tamit dañ ma say jappale di jaayantu yu wi nono wala sana oldo jaay bi tamit demut nono ci food processing bi Bi due to covid bi way xamna comme leka lu bon bon dina am yo xamne dina ay demantu bena bena way definitely fi nekk ni challenge ci meeting na trop meeting na de travel agency bi right now ñu ngi am two staff because of covid bi um enterprise bi amna part time staff about three of them to four for man nak suma relationship asuma ligey be is very small man ñun ñep ño boka bena leñ ñi dama leñ jappé doom ñi ma jappé leñ raka té man defuma fi ben restriction bo xamné di nga ragal man defuma ragal suma diganté suma ligey kati dama def jaamo yombalal leñ ko pour ñu ñëmé da té boy ligey yeñ nit ki su la ñëmé ñu té dina la def lu bari way man jaamo da def nako suma digante ñom comme ni ma la waxe ni suma doom ni ni suma raka len ka frère rek la fi neke ñom man nga gis ni sa luma def dama jël permission ci ñom dama len de taago lolu am nga yoon la be tax na ñom lu ño def ñom tamit dinañ ma taago yigal ma ni te lu neka rek ci yow bopa be ci yow la commencer lo defut rek lolen wonu rek ñom duñ ko def so dafa bax tamit ci liggey kat so liggey ñom nga may len jaama jaama len be mu melni seen kir la be taxna bu waxtu waccha joté sa baata buñ waré liggey ci sa dañoo yakamté duñ absent diga neex yaalla santa yaalla torob daal sustu ma bi ci tay bi ni the international women's day ñum ci santa yaalla diko ci girem nga féké bi wër ak tal bi mënu na tok tay ni di muna waxtane yeen di ñaan yalla mu neka lo xamne ñu ko ñaan diko yalla diko fété at yu bari ci wër ak tal topa ci té di ñaan yalla fébar ci adina ci yalla dindi ko fi ak fitna yi yalla tundo mu séda ci adina ci té défal ñu ko suñu biir tap suñu ko li ñu ñepp ñu neka bena té di ñaana jigéni lepp luñ sumba yeen ñu ko mutalé sen sago té yalla dooli leen fan ak wër ak katan ak tal ñuy mëna hey di jog di dem di dura ka daanu jigeeni amuñ morom jigeeni jambar leen kar ma sha Allah di ñaanal suma yaay di dek luma suma yaay man ko ñaanal di ajatu roohi job di ko ñaanal yaalla yaagal ko fi lool te wër jooba jupa yaalla wone lañu waata mom ci ko suuf li palum soona ci njabot yeena tobe ñu ko ko doole fey be ci setami jigen ju ba jigen ju degeer kar man suma daan hey di liggey bi ma staté liggey baaju travel agency mo ma yobu ma liggey bu joggé fajar bu sango be paré mo éma ni ma jugal ma suma mama daan fana bu ma joggé sango be paré be solo bala ma gena ci béda bi laaj ma lu mo def dafa ñu ñika ya ana abi ma gena taaw man dama yaaga no pal suma bopa su ko defé mu xol ma lima sol ci ko be ci suuf bu ma solé lo xamni neexu ko wuñé ko dama simé ko ma ko hay li baxna di munema dama la ne wagne kul ndaté jigen la jigeni jambar la ku degere degere kar ma sha Allah ñun yaguñ suñu yaay du wax ñu tontu ko ñeme ñuñ ko sa ku sonna ci ñun la te bété fi ma waxé yow ni be dimba ci guti 
Munchi de la Jagente. Magnas Madomi Magne, Amnadom Seca, why better of Maricle. Some way had done a Samanico hair at Yamuma. Boma had a woman called Balma, I had you. Better Jeanne, Fimnek and Smoker, any mom line you sense for his message. Jega Luco Balaco, Tenyana, Codefum or Codaranak, why to soon require you a drum from the first sending and Timo Manconian and Dad Juba Juba. Young Sister Mahela Smahalat, the Lanyan and Ju Fanganeka. Il a I was encouraged to get him to my boca. I was encouraged to get him to my boca. I was encouraged to get him to my boca. I was encouraged to get him to my boca. I was encouraged to get him The Gambia Port Authority is established by an Act of Parliament called the 1972 Ports Act and is to provide port services deemed to be efficient to the public and uh, that's generally the remit of the port legally. Um, ferry services uh, was uh, delinked from the GPTC by a government decision in 2001 because government realized that uh, because of the huge I mean, uh, resources that are required for the sustainable operation and maintenance and of, of ferries. They took the conscious decision of uh, transferring the ferries under the management of GPA. But the Gambia Ferry Services, as an outfit, is a limited liability company. It's registered under the Companies Act, but it's a subsidiary of the GPA that is owned 80 percent by the port and 20 percent by government through the Ministry of Finance. So this is the legal context in which the GPA does intervention in the ferries. Because a lot of times people will uh, ask uh, the GPA why intervene in the ferries, but this is the context in which uh, it needs to be put. It's our whole, it's our subsidiary which we have a substantial uh, shareholding. Now, since uh, the ferries was delinked from GPTC into and transferred to GPA, the GPA has invested in excess of 900 million dollars towards the upkeep of the ferries. Um, in 2002, a new ferry was procured on a design and build basis from Diamond Shipyard as the Johe. And uh, in 2005, uh, Kanilai was also procured. Now, these two ferries were deployed. But over time, because of the excessive demand on the, on the ferry, there is continuous need for investment in their upkeep. It reached at a point in 2013 when uh, both these two ferries, Johe and Kanilai, needed some re-engineering and the uh, government also assisted by providing funds through uh, grant support from Taiwan, uh, it's about 768,000 US dollars and uh, 180 million dollars is loaned from the Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation to re-engineer these two new ferries. So four brand new engines were procured, each for Kanilai, Johe and two for the summer ferry in Farafini. Now the way the ferry operates is that the engine goes with a propulsion system. So each of the engines has to be accompanied by a propulsion system, either a pump jet or, or a shuttle rudder propeller. Um, that's how the ferries uh, operate. So now since 2013, most of the engines on these ferries have also clocked more than 12,000 running hours. And uh, the sustainable way to keep them technically in an improved and safer condition is to replace the engines and the propulsion systems with the management uh, has already started the procurement process. It's a huge requirement in terms of financial resources. Apart from that, uh, in 2017, again, uh, we have a new design and build ferry, that's the Kunta Kinte, which the GPA took on credit from uh, the shipbuilder, which is Diamond Shipyard, uh, 8.9 million euros, 20% uh, down payment was done, and the balance is paid in biannual installments uh, over five years. Apart from the design, build, and commissioning, we also have a maintenance uh, contract with Diamond Shipyard, where a resident engineer is deployed to Banjul 
accompanying the project beyond even the repayment of the, 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 the ferry loan. So the resident engineer is here for the next 10 years to see to the daily upkeep of the ferry. Because the transport infrastructure is also one of the key eight strategic priorities of the NDP. And uh, we are looking at transport in an integrated approach. You have the, as far as the maritime sector is concerned, we are looking at an integrated approach where we have the ferry services, the river revitalization project and also the port services. Um, that's the approach we're, we're taking, the maritime aspect of the transport infrastructure. But transport is one of the key eight strategic priorities of the, of the NDP. Nous nous avons tout ça. tickets online. Nous free départ, rich bar. Nous avons fait le développement the public um, should exercise a lot of patience. We are, we are not sitting down. We are doing as much as possible to provide a reliable and a very fast, safe ferry service. This will take a while to stabilize, but indeed it will. We, we, all, we have um, plans that we have put in place, but we have already started implementing. As you can see now, during low tide, Canilla is taken out of service and is only allowed to operate at high tide. So we believe that this will reduce the breakdown rate. At the same time, it will you know, increase the availability of the ferries. Shipyard also records has it that uh, the ground anchor was last accessed in the mid-80s. And uh, since that time, any time that even our own craft would need some underwater hull repairs, we will have to tow them to the nearest shipyard, which is in Senegal. And there is a floating dock and there's a lot of waiting time, a lot of added costs. And even the towing alone would cost nothing less than 35,000 euros on a one-way leg. The analogy I always like to give people is that uh, ferries uh, provide social service. And apart from the Transgambia, which used to be the cash cow, as it were, only Banjul Bara is breaking even. All the other seven stations across the river are cross-subsidized from revenues that are generated from Banjul Bara and Transgambia. But now Transgambia is no more because of the existence of the Senegambia Bridge, so we've lost that uh, revenue. Now it's only Banjulbara which is uh, breaking even. Um, if you look at this scenario, where staff cost alone for a month is in excess of $8 million, fuel alone and lubricants in excess of $5 million, other operating costs $5 million. So thereabouts, the expenditure is 17 to $20 million. And the revenue on a good case is also about 16 to 17 million dollars for the ferries. That's at least what is in our budget. Now it means the ferries is just basically breaking even. Most of the projects, infrastructure, investment in craft, and other operating expenditure is by intervention from the GPA into ferry services. We are trying to get a lot of spares. We understand uh, 2020 you know, indeed, it's a very, it's very difficult year for everybody because of this pandemic. You know, transportation and a lot of things have been become a very big problem. 
So we are getting the necessary, we are trying to get the necessary spares, but this, there are a lot of delays associated to this. But eventually these spares will come and the other engines that are not functioning on the ferry will be repaired as well. The Gambia National Petroleum Corporation is the country's national oil company. For the past 17 years, GNPC has continued to deliver excellent services to all Gambians, from individuals to corporate clients. At GNPC, you are guaranteed the best quality fuel in the Gambia. Visit our stations and stop by our auto spare parts store where you can find petroleum and lubricant products, wiper blades, and many more. All these provided without delay. With 10 service stations located throughout the country and still counting, GNPC gives you the best customer service anywhere, anytime. Think fuel, think GNPC. Gambia, it is now time to take ownership of what we own. GNPC, Nyokomom, the Gambia, our homeland. Because of the social nature of the service we provide, government controls the, the, the tariff. But the tariff is not a cost plus. And uh, if you have a 5%, 20% increase on the passenger fare, for example, instead of paying $25, passengers may expect to pay 20, $30 because of the improvement in the inf infrastructure. But it's basically not a cost plus tariff. It is highly subsidized and the ferries is virtually just breaking even. Bas ame tim nak nak kasih yang rek, nak lihat ferry betul dah rek normal. Yap kunyau buka jala jala rek si kater ni jala lalu mungkin lim share share na so demokrasi amrek mungkin. Lep so ame sah hasil kita mula lor dem amun jeri. Wah, yang am sah tatalis mula lor romba problem la. Mungkin am sah twenty five mula de mula lor romba jen problem la. Am sah tatalis ngam romba mungkin dan am twenty five tu lor romba. No five dalis ngam ben problem mungkin lisan hasil dal mui dah normal rek jau. Ida menyau ni ku esy dal. Rek dalam mana amfiri boleh ibu. Wah, engkau ni utok ayu dua hawa tiga hawa dua mana dem dal mampu kau nuci lo. Amni yang hamil ni dugal, amni yang hamil ni muinggal. Wah, amni yang hamil ni dugal, amni yang hamil ni muinggal. Tegal muntu airport. Pas kementerian cuma kisah zaman zaman life ni yang beli gua. Wah, dia ni mungkin selesai dah handol dia lah. Wah, suka ni ferry gana, beri gana, bas gana, bar. Kamu kom, iya nu kilo ni minat ni di gana gude bay. Ayi lebih ni gudi. Ag fajar ni muzik terus jom nuntun bar ni jilid kadi lor. And we are alive to our responsibility as a public institution to continue to provide this uh, social service. I'm going to terminal. I'm going to go to the 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 The country is uh, naturally endowed with a river that uh, divides it into the north and the south banks. And it's navigable inland up to 360 kil kilometers uh, in Basse. Now, because uh, the, the, the statistics have indicated that uh, with a volume of uh, 3 million tons, um, minus domestic consumption, we've realized that 60% of all goods that come into the port find their way to third countries by way of transit, cross-border and re-export trade, uh, meaning that regional clients come to Banjul to buy their wares and take them to third countries, mostly to the south of Senegal, southwest regions of Mali, Guinea and, and, and Guinea-Bissau. We've uh, realized that there's a huge potential to develop uh, a logistics platform at Basse, where the southwest regions of Mali, the Kai area, for example, is a huge growth and consumption center. You have a population in excess of 6 million, and the volume of cargo in fuel product alone is uh, twice the throughput that we handle at the port of Banjul. So to get even 10% of that market is really a plus in our throughput. Now, so that's why there's the strategy to develop Basse as not only an inland port, but as a logistics platform, such that uh, cargo owners uh, coming all the way to Banjul to load uh, stuff onto road vehicles and uh, travel uh, on the road and uh, take them to their final destination in Kai would cut the distance by half. Um, the analogy I can give at this point is that uh, there's a uh, good first-class road between Banjul up to Basse and onto Wilingara, leading onto Kedira, which is the 
the, the border between uh, Senegal and Mali into Kai. The distance between Banjul and those areas is uh, 673 kilometers. Now, if you build a logistics platform in Basse, what it does is it costs the uh, travel distance by half. Because from Basse into Kedera is about 300 odd kilometers. Because uh, that's where the, the, the economic sense uh, comes in to have the logistics platform in Basse. So this idea of the dry, Basse dry port is to have uh, river barges, up to 2,000 tons, self-towing barges, to load goods from Banjul port, take them to Basse. Because the, the, the economics is such that uh, high volume, low value cargo, mostly consumer goods, likes of sugar, flour, edible oil, and other plastic stuff, they lend themselves easier in terms of uh, cost per ton mile. It's cheaper by river than by road. A lot of studies have uh, proven that. Now that's uh, the reason why we're investing with a partner to develop an SPV to have the Basset Dry Port logistics platform and the investment in the river badge such that uh, this project will be starting in earnest in, in, in 2021. The incentive for the cargo owners is that uh, they will have less of a travel distance and then the facility will have all the ancillary support infrastructure in terms of warehousing, equipment maintenance workshop, accommodation for staff and even banking facility and insurance so that it will be like a one-stop shop. Cargo owners will come there and load all their cargo and go back into those southward region. The, hotel, the potential is huge and the, the market is there already because you have local businesses that are already involved in the transportation of uh, rice, sugar and flour using river barges into Basse. So that's why uh, the indicators have shown that there's a huge potential to develop river transport. And by and large, other, I mean, inland ports, the likes of Kaur and Kunta would also, I mean, uh, fall into the fray. Because these are as well uh, economic and very vibrant uh, centers. So with this project, there will be a regeneration of those uh, once thriving economic uh, centers in the sense that it would add value in domestic production. Because where you have a lot of uh, agricultural produce in Gambia, can now have the incentive for people to add value to their products and then have a means of transport to take them onto markets where they are needed. It is a project that has huge potential. It is also, I mean, piggybacking on the Trans Gambia Bridge or the Senegambia Bridge, we call it, because there's a, now the corridor development project, we call it, which uh, the government has also been working with the funding agency, which is the African Development Bank, to have a corridor management plan. So all the economic operations that are along the thoroughfare will have, can have some kind of regeneration, because all the handicraft, all, for example, people involved in, in metal and steel fabrication, people involved in articrafts, people involved in agricultural produce, would uh, have clusters of economic activities located all along this uh, transit corridor so that there will be synergy between the road transport and the river transport for economic regeneration. It would add value in also promoting employment in the country, youth development, and also gender activity would be promoted a lot because we have realized a lot of women folk are involved in traditional agricultural practices. So where you have these centers with all the right uh, platforms, their produce would be handled in the dedicated facility where they'll have proper treatment and value adding in terms of sorting, packaging, labeling, so that the product will be more marketable to the, 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 the international market. There's a huge potential that comes with developing the river and this corridor management plan, as I said earlier. Now, apart from that, at the local level, there's opportunity more for job creation and uh, to participate more in value added activities like creating these off dock uh, centers where the cargo would be transported closer to the consumption areas and it would create some form of uh, economic re regeneration around those clusters. Areas we are looking at is outside of Banjul, the areas in Aboko, Kawo, Kuntawo, up to Basse. If you have a, a logistics platform, we call it Inland Container Depot, in a place like Aboko, you can imagine it will generate a lot of ancillary activity which will go to add value in promoting the economic useful life and sustenance of the, the, the residents around those areas. 
So these are the values that the port is adding to the to the NDP. So the port is an economic operator, and we are alive to this responsibility. So the value we are adding in the NDP is to ensure that there is efficiency in cargo handling and delivery. There is also a dredging requirement around the harbour area. When the sand gets deposited along the shorelines, it uh, reduces the depth along the walls and uh, it calls for recurrent maintenance dredging. The physical constraint in Banjul is because of the estuary with sand getting deposited along the, the, the shoreline. And uh, in the channel coming into Banjul, there's a 20 kilometer sea passage. And at some point uh, between uh, boys numbers two and three, we call it, off the coast of uh, Cape Point, there's a big sandbar underwater which actually restricts the size of vessels that can call into Banjul. It's like a big hump and uh, it's 8.5 meters. Now, with a country handling international trade, normally ships come with nine meters and above. So there's a huge requirement to do the dredging in the access channel so that you have deeper draft vessels to navigate the channel. Now, studies have identified that uh, 4.6 million cubic meters of sand needs to be removed in a to create a 120 meter two-way lane shipping traffic. And uh, the original cost as that then was about 35 million euros. The, the studies have identified that the channel needs to be deepened with those volumes, increase the depth from 8.5 to 10.2 meters so that you can have bigger ships called to Banjul and increase our potential to serve the transshipment business that goes around West Africa. But because of the, the benefits will accrue to the wider economy, we are encouraging government to take it up as a national project. It's just like building an airport or a bridge, and the benefits are not only to the port, but the country in general. The potential to attract transshipment business would enhance the potential of the country. The port in Banjul is in an estuary, and uh, with the hydrodynamics in the area, the sand gets deposited along the shoreline you know, with the ebb and flow of the tide. So the port is prone to what we call siltation, and uh, thereby requiring dredging given intervals. All our engineers are here. We've got about nine engineers all together in town. You know, we have about six of them working inside the ships and the rest working outside. And uh, we are at the ports. We were supposed to go to our site to start our dredging. But of course, with the problems at the ports, we decided to work with them. Because, you know, Gambia's port is very busy, we know. A lot of goods from, that goes to Mali, Gambia, Senegal, Guinea-Bissau, and other countries, even Guinea-Conakry, they pass through these ports. But today, if you look around, what do you see? You see ships and ships and ships following each other. Some of them have been in the waters for a week or so. Why are they there? Look at the ferry. You will see at some point the ferry will not be able to dock here, maybe today or tomorrow. Why? Because there's problem here. There's sedimentation here, you know. So the area needs dredging. The, the dredging is just uh, about to commence actually. The pipes are just being lit and now connected to the vessel that has to do the dredging. But we decided to do this work for the Ports Authority, you know, to open up the, what is it called, the waterways, so that bigger ships can come to the ports, you know. So if you can see here, you see only that bath number, I think number, that's number three. That's the only bath where big ships can, you know, can bat at, you know, big ships can stop that. You know, but the other, all the other bats, they cannot have big ships to dock there, simply because the depth is not as deep. You know, you will see, the, you will find out that the other one is almost 15 to 20 meters deep, while the other ones are six, five, six, seven meters. So you can see the problem. There's a serious problem there. And apart from that, uh, the port is also located within the contiguous zone of uh, the half dive which is basically a residential property. And our only natural expansion is seawards, but because of the challenges in the, in, in, in the hydrodynamics, it is more sustainable to acquire property inland, demolish the structures, and then do the expansion. And the volumes we're handling right now calls for immediate expansion. Um, over the past uh, 10 years preceding 2017, the annual growth in terms of the volume has been 7% per annum. But since uh, end December 2017 to date, we have seen a, a rise in the volume of cargo. At least uh, in 2017, end December, we had 12%. The following year, to 16%. And currently, we're about the same 16% in terms of the volume. 
Now, what that means is that uh, the volume of business is outgrowing the facility, and there's serious congestion, both in terms of the ship's accommodation and also the land facility. So within Banjul, we are highly engaged with the city council in some of these concepts. It's still at the drawing stage, but the objective is to have a city regeneration. And one of the initial plans is to, because Banjul cannot expand, it's an island. The only natural expansion is to do dredging, by the way, which uh, the sand that is to be mined in the channel that is fine sand that can be used for civil construction. So at some point, the sand will be used to do reclamation in the beachfront to create room for the construction of new accommodation. Even the recreational center at the mile two is within the plans to have it relocated and build a proper a correctional facility so that uh, the area can be used uh, for truck parking. The trucks will have to leave the city and uh, we have a calling system. The plans are very elaborate and we're doing it in conjunction with the city council. But fundamentally, the bank is very much insistent upon doing proper environmental and social impact assessment because uh, the sustainability of this project relies more on the ESIS. So for Banyulians to be rest assured that all the concerns of the, the, the residents will be taken on board. And it also, by extension, includes the settlement in, in, in Barra because of the relocation of the ferry aspect. The Gambia National Petroleum Corporation is the country's national oil company. For the past 17 years, GNPC has continued to deliver excellent services to all Gambians, from individuals to corporate clients. At GNPC, you are guaranteed the best quality fuel in the Gambia. Visit our stations and stop by our auto spare parts store where you can find petroleum and lubricant products, wiper blades, and many more. All these provided without delay. With 10 service stations located throughout the country and still counting, GNPC gives you the best customer service anywhere, anytime. Think fuel, think GNPC. Gambia, it is now time to take ownership of what we own. GNPC, Nyokomom, the Gambia, our homeland. and recommended three urgent components. One is to extend the existing jetty by 200 meters at least, so that you will create more batting capacity for the ships that are waiting at the anchorage. The other component in the business plan is the acquisition of uh, 22,000 square meters of landed property. This is the contiguous zone to the port. Uh, people that are familiar with the location, we call it the half day. And uh, as we speak, 80% of the properties have been acquired from their, their owners compensated. And we have given notice for the occupants to, to vacate so that we can demolish the properties and construct a new container terminal to increase the capacity of the port to handle inbound containers. The third and also important component is to do with the institutional arrangement, key among which is the digitization or the computerization of port operations. Because we have reached volumes in our business uh, that uh, calls for immediate investment in IT solutions in cargo handling and documentary processes. Because the amount of containers we are handling uh, on an annual basis uh, for the past three years is in excess of 130,000 tons. Uh, I mean, 130,000 boxes in a year. And it calls for immediate solution in IT uh, solutions in, in, in cargo handling processes. Other institutional arrangements also accompany the, the, the project of the digitization is to do with a skills gap analysis that uh, we've conducted uh, through a consulting firm from, from South Africa to look at uh, the human resource uh, and uh, capacity improvement needs uh, when it comes to the staffing levels. Now, uh, those are things that uh, we are doing uh, currently from our own, uh, own, own budget to ensure that uh, the GPA possesses the human resources with the appropriate skills and competence to be able to steer the affairs of the authority in the years that lie ahead. So basically, these are the decision factors that we've come to as a management to cope with the increased pressure on the port facility that is posed by the demand from the ships and the cargo owners. October 2019, government took the conscious decision and uh, 
the port was uh, required to invest resources in the upgrade of the Banjul shipyard, which is also a, a, a company of its own, a wholly owned subsidiary by the GPA. Now, we have rolled out tenders in the local newspapers to have a consulting engineer to assist with the tender documents in, in terms of the design, and then to recruit construction contractors from our own resources to redevelop the shipyard. The cradle have been supplied. This is the main slipway that we can bring up vessels has been supplied. So the contractors, all they need to do when they come is to like build a coffer dam to suck all the mud and the water out, access the Grand Anchor, which as I said earlier was uh, the last time that was it was accessed was in the mid 80s to see what the extent of the damage is on the floor concrete and the rails so that we can do a more sustainable approach. There are two solutions. We call them the quick and dirty and the long-term sustainable. But we prefer to do the long-term and sustainable. Because of the port project expansion, the environmental study has also identified that the, it will impact on ferry operations, particularly the landing side in Banjul. So part of the project is also going to look at the relocation aspects for the ferry lander in Banjul. So going forward, in terms of proper planning, the, we have taken the conscious decision also as part of this project to invest in a new landing bridge for both Banjul and Bar, such that in the event uh, that there is any complications or obstructions with one, for operational safety, you can have recourse to a second landing bridge, such that uh, what he had experienced in the last month to have the ferry services disrupted for a whole month might not happen again. The GPA is uh, viable financially. I wouldn't say it makes a lot of money, but it is viable in the sense that uh, we provide the infrastructure to handle ships and cargo. And uh, the greater part of our revenue comes from uh, ship-related charges. And uh, for the shore handling, because these are charges that are borne by local importers, any increase on the tariff would have uh, an impact on the retail prices of goods. So the port is an economic operator. We're financially viable. In terms of turnover, it's in excess of $1.6 billion. And the profit after tax is achieving what we have set ourselves as target. And the resources are also plowed back to improve the infrastructure and also to provide financial assistance to related institutions such as the ferry services and the Banjul shipyard and the fisheries jetty, which is also I mean, uh, assigned to the GPA by government under a memorandum of understanding because of the synergy the fisheries jetty has with port marine operations. But by and large, basically, the port is a viable business and the, the, the profits that are accruing are also plowed back to improve the infrastructure. So that's the situation we are in. We are not money making, but we are achieving the desired results. We are hopeful that as a country, we can harness the potential we have to serve as the supermarket for the West, uh, West Africa region and beyond, in line with the national emblem of the Smiling Coast. So collectively as Gambians, I would urge that uh, people start to learn trade. And uh, a lot of uh, talk about poverty elevation, uh, poverty reduction, we can actually eradicate poverty. So it means the resources that are available that we can add value, this is what would improve, improve GDP in this country. So we'd like to encourage all citizens to go back to the land. Agriculture is very sustainable and these are things that will, people will need lifelong. Skills development also at the level of the educational curriculum so that uh, the youth will be equipped with the right skills and competence to engage in all this handicraft, the articraft, the fishing technology and you know a lot of other activities that would sustain and improve the livelihoods of, of, of our citizenry and uh, take advantage of the river's navigability inland to increase our degree of penetration to, to that market. So it needs conscious engagement at the grassroots level with all citizens that we need together and we look after each other.